Hello everyone, this is the first episode of a new tutorial series on my channel, which I will show you how to create cards by using Unity and C Sharp. You can use this into your gallery systems or whatever projects you are working on. I'm going to make several mini videos to complete this series. Each video will last around 10 or 15 minutes for the best experience. In the first episode, we are going to use Unity UI elements to build our first card in Unity. In the second episode, we are going to use C Sharp Script to edit our card. Then, in the third episode, we are put some additional elements into our original card. Finally, in episode 4, I will manage all cards in one panel for display. Here, our Unity project open already and I'm using Unity 2018 for this video. This is just a regular 2D project. First thing first, let's drag some assets into our project. All resources are available from my GitHub. All detailed credits will be shown by the description below. Then creating some empty folders can be beneficial in managing and finding them during creation. Here we go. We are going to create the UI canvas. Before we create UI image, we are going to make change to our canvas scalar script that is a part of our canvas. So if you look here, we got constant pixel size. We want to make sure that we are designing for a resolution that is independent of the size that the elements are. What we do is just to change this to a scale with screen size. Then set the reference resolution to 1920 plus 1080. Then let's drag our first UI image and replace the source image slot. You can choose to use any sprites here. Just make sure the texture type should be sprite 2D and UI. Press T or press this rectangular button to resize the image which makes it easy to scale it up. I have to mention here that in episode 4 or 5, I will resize this card again but now the size will not influence our card creation and easy to check. Let's rename the UI image to card. This card game object will be the parent of next several UI elements. After that, right click in our hierarchy, go UI and select image. Holding Alt and Shift to snap this manner image to the top left of the card. Drag the sprites into the source image. Don't forget to check the preserve aspects which can ensure image remains existing dimension. Then resize the manner image to adjust their position to the comfortable place. Rename it to manner. Then under this manner image, let's create one UI text as the child of the manner image. Click the anchor presets buttons in the upper left corner of the rack transform component. You can hold Alt and Shift to anchor the UI elements stretched together with the parent size. In order to see the manner text clearly, we have to change the text element, text font, text size, and the several paragraph section. The paragraph section defines how text will sit within its rectangular. Text can be aligned left, center, or right, top, middle, or bottom. In this case, we want our manner text aligned to the center of its rectangular. Optional, you can add outline and shadow component to this text game object. After finishing our manner image and its text child, make sure you have clicked the manner image already. Holding Command D or Ctrl D to duplicate this game object. Then click the anchor presets window again, holding Alt and Shift snap them to the bottom left of the corner. This game object is our attack power UI image and its attack power text. And then replace its source image as well. You can adjust the image size as you want. Don't worry too much about which size is the best in this tutorial. All image size depends on you. Then we can use the same routine to make our health UI image and its health power text. Okay, after finishing these three UI images and their text, let's create our class banner image. Drag the sprites to our new UI image. Snap to the middle button of the card. Resize this image again and create a UI text as its child of this UI image.
and our class image. At first, we set string type human as the default class of this card. I have to mention here, in this case, many UI text information only for design purpose, as it's replaced at runtime by the string defined it within our script, which sets the text information dynamically. I will show the script in my episode 2. Then, let's create the description board image and its text. In here, make sure to check the rich text and the best fit for the best efforts of our card display. The rich text checkbox allows the use of text markup, which allows you to use text in line to format text in a similar way to HTML. When best fit is checked, the text will ignore the overflow options and instead make text as large or as small as necessary to fit within an available rectangular. The mini and max properties refers to the limits of the front size. Then use the same routine to build our name banner. For our card profile, let's create one UI image. Then drag one cycle sprite to its source image. In here, we use Adobe Illustrator to export one PNG format. I have attached this image to my description. Then, under this UI image, let's create another image called Character Image. Drag one sprite as the default image to its source image slot. Now, we can see our character image is exceed the edges of its parents. We want our character image inside the mask place. Bind to its parents game object, adding one component called Mask. Masks are used to hide part of the UI image elements. A mask element is then to click this oversized content to the design size. Show mask graphic is a toggle and will toggle whether to not the graphic element is displayed. Finally, create our card background image. In many cases, artists will draw one image not only their character but also their background environment. But in this tutorial, I have separated this into two UI image. In the next episode, you can see each card have different background. Finally, we can drag each UI image to change their order of the card. We want our card profile under the name board, and the description board I will adjust later. Okay, this is my first episode of how to use UI elements to make our simple card tutorial. In the next episode, I will start using C Sharp script to complete our first card. All card information will be added by script and the inspector. As you can see, all content and sprites in this card will not appear in play mode. They are made for design purpose, so don't worry too much about the UI elements content. If you want to learn directly how to build the card within image, I will upload my episode 1 demo to my GitHub, and you can start learning from episode 2. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like it, hope to smash the likes and the subscribe button.
Alright, see you in the next time.